Hi guys, this video is going to be a compilation of a couple of mid-range scents during our recent trip to Albarafin. I will be sharing some of my thoughts about each of them, so sit back and enjoy. Oh, first up is this uh, 7A climb called uh, Zigzag. So a couple of um, introductory moves at the start uh, leads up to a uh, big move out to the lip. So I wanted to flash this, but uh, actually started below um, the intended start. Uh, for my first go and drop the big move. So this went second go, uh, still okay with that, and uh, sketchy top out uh, for the end. Yeah. Nice. Uh, another 70 next, uh, Gorillas. This is a cool looking dino. Uh, it took me a while to find uh, the footholds, especially the left foot to make the jump. Uh, but once I found it, uh, the jump went second go. Uh, the top out's a bit sketchy, apologies as um, you know, it can't really be seen by the camera, but uh, suffices to know that uh, it's one of the sketchy ones. Woo! Next up we have uh, El Choro. So this is given a 7A in the local guidebook and uh, 7A plus uh, on 27 cracks. Uh, personally I feel it's more 7A. Um, it's really cool, one move wonder almost, a big jump out to a good edge over here. Uh, once you put your foot back on, uh, it's, it's pretty done. Um, it's a good jaggy uh, ledge edge over here. Uh, top out's a bit sketchy with um, not the best sloper um, ledge over here. Uh, but the footholds are good and uh, just gotta trust your feet and uh, stand up. And uh, there you go, um, top out. Nice. Oh, yes. uh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> Next is another climb uh, called El Espiritu del Vino, 70 plus. So a couple of introductory moves um, sets you up for a big jump uh, to a crimp. So actually most betas I've seen uh, go left hand to where my right hand is currently, uh, followed by right hand uh, to this slopey H red uh, to the right, um, until a friend suggested to go right hand uh, with to that uh, good slot um, to set up for the big jump with the left hand. So that worked pretty well. Um, it took me a while to link it all together. Um, but yeah, it felt really uh, satisfying. So fun fact, this was actually done on the first day of uh, the climbing trip. And uh, yeah, it was a good start. Um, it was my first 7A plus uh, outdoors as well. So pretty happy uh, with this. Come on, nice. Yo. Us. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. Come yeah. On. Yeah. yeah. Oh, finally. Next, we have um, R Ciegas 7A plus. So this is perhaps uh, one of my favorite lines of all time. It's just a such cool compression line uh, on a on a red, uh, beautiful looking rock. Uh, so a couple of um, difficult moves ish uh, at the start uh, sets you up to these two good holes, um, good left hand flick as well as a good right hand side pull. Then you put on this cool looking heel toe cam on the left, um, lock off completely. Um, get a good crimp with the left hand, uh, scum the right foot up, and then get this a strange pinch that isn't the best with the right hand uh, before a glory jug. Uh, then a uh, cool looking cut loose, uh, and a couple of campus moves at the end uh, for the top out. So fun fact, actually I tried this line um, two years ago when I first came to El Barafin. Um, I did some of the moves but was nowhere close to linking them all together. So I was pretty psyched uh, to come back uh, for revenge uh, on this builder. I'm happy that it went down pretty quickly as well. Okay. Moving on to the seven Bs. So this is El Coleccionista de Huesos. Um, this is actually the first seven B of the trip. Um, the first move you've seen right there is actually the hardest move um, for all of us. Um, over here, you've got a nice um, flip actually for the right hand that you almost can't really see from a, a slopey ledge um, to a kind of half pet uh, under clean crimp um, before couple of easy moves uh, at the end uh, where the border really eases out uh, for the top out. So yeah, um, maybe the end is about 6C, 6C plus um, and um, yeah, it's, uh, it's really not too bad and the uh, difficulty of the border is really in the first move uh, as well as the third move uh, where you flip the right hand from the slopey ledge into the undercling crimp. So pretty happy with this um, as the first 7B of the trip. I think this went down on day two, uh, pretty quickly as well, um, and uh, yeah, stoked with this. <laughs> Next uh, is Yosemite 7B plus. Um, although I did feel that this was a bit soft for the grade, um, probably at most 7B if not 7A plus. Um, 
It's a cool boulder though, um, a bit of a morpho start uh, to a slopey side pool uh, before this really cool kung fu kick uh, as you can see over here. Um, and then I set up a heel toe cam between the two rocks um, which is really secure and it allows me to make so many hand movements of it. Um, and yeah, it just feels, felt so con in control with uh, the heel toe cam. Uh, didn't feel like I was going to break a leg or, or anything like that. And uh, yeah, um, once the hand kind of sort themselves out over here, a bit of campusing. Um, and the top part is actually a bit sketchy. Um, I went for a higher ledge over here, but that didn't really work. Um, and so I kind of quite um, ugly uh, campus down, um, put the right foot back on. And I think this was the beta that uh, worked for me. Um, still a bit sketchy with the, the right foot, but uh, yeah, small um, adjustments with the left foot, I think, uh, yeah, that made it work. Um, so yeah, um, Yosemite, probably not 7B+, plus, but still happy with the sand. <laughs> Next up is Ramstein, 7B, and gosh, this is the absolute dream line for me. Um, pure bot style climbing, um, three or four, I think four powerful moves. Um, so you start off with this really big lock off move um, off a poor right foot hole um, before you step on this nubbin and uh, take a big cut. And uh, yeah, the first two moves actually took me the longest uh, to figure out. Um, I tried with a right heel, um, took, it was too difficult to release it. Um, and then it took me so long to stick the first move um, as well as the second move um, before this glory jack um, to uh, end the boulder. And yeah, um, as I'm not sure if you can see, but the emotions were um, really running high after the sand. Um, this is probably at the highest of my tick list before coming here. Um, I told everybody on the trip that um, if there's one thing I want to do this trip, it's Ramstein. Um, and yeah, I'm so happy I did it uh, within a session and pretty quickly as well. So yeah. Let's go! Moving on to boulders that felt really hard for me. So this is Fight Club 7B+. Start off with uh, two easy moves on side pull jacks. Um, before you get in this uh, left heel toe or almost a toe hook um, into the huiko. Um, follow that, following that you have yes, two bumps on. of the left hand. Uh, before you get this um, really poor glassy half pet crimp. Um, then you want to toe hook where your right hand is but you can't. So you step and then you bump your right hand out before you watch in your heel toe cam. Uh, right hand up and then left yes, hand up to this. Kind of good hold, um, and then before you go full stretch, um, right hand to the lip, and then you kind of go full Hail Mary, left hand over the lip as well. Um, the final hold is not the best, it's a bit slopey, and so um, the cut loose is, was a bit sketchy. I was so scared of planting it over there. So, yeah, Fight Club 7B Plus um, took me the first session to figure out the micro beta for all the moves, and then the second session to link them all together. So, overall, really psyched to get this. So last but not least, um, probably the hardest sand of the trip, Manu Chakra, 7B plus on 27 cracks, uh, 7C in the local guidebook. I think it's a bit more 7B plus personally. So the first move here is probably the hardest move. Um, really polished and slopey holes to start. Um, and then the intermediate moves here are not too bad. Uh, my heel popped unexpectedly but um, managed to recover um, before this really, really scary last move. So it's actually not that far, the jump. Um, but the landing is not the best, so there's a big latch as you can see there. Um, so yeah, I'm really psyched to get this, I think on the third try of the jump. Um, second session, uh, fifth try it went. And yeah, actually on my second last try, um, I almost injured my right foot because it was caught between the latch and the landing. I'm going to replay the jump once more uh, without the voiceover so you can hear the emotions. So yeah, as you could tell, I was really really psyched to get it. So thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed it, uh, until next time.